What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Mr. Dude. I coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> boy, I knew they was scared. Um, and tonight, man, I'm going to talk about Game 7. You had the Houston Rockets beating the Oklahoma City Thunder 104-102 to to advance to the second round to take on the Los Angeles Lakers. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, you want to give me a follow on Instagram, send me a friend request on Facebook. Um, check me out on TikTok, man. I'm going to have my all my social media, uh, Snapchat also. I'm going to have all my social media outlets down in the description box. Give me a follow on, the, on on all of them and come holla at your boy, yo. Oh, uh, man, what a game. <laughs> what a basketball game, man. Um, It kind of played out kind of how I thought it would, man. Um, You know, I felt like OKC was really going to give Houston a battle tonight. Um, Led by Chris Paul and those guys, Schroeder, um, Dort. <laughs> you know, Lou Dort, man, with, with 30 points. You know, that came out of nowhere. But, hey, shout out to him, man. What a performance by him. And um, something to build on for next season. Um, I knew they was gonna play tough, man. Um, and at times it looked like they was gonna get it done, man. But but shout out to James Harden's defense with a critical block, man. Um, and getting dirt to step out of bounds, you know, and especially in this bubble, I've seen too many guys getting fouled shooting a three, or in the case of the Heat Bugs game, refs making terrible calls, you know, down the stretch. But um, shout out to him, man, for getting his body out of the way and defending the three. Um, especially, you know, a guy, Dart, who they've let shoot all series. But tonight, when it mattered, Moles came through and was knocking down his shots. But a very heady play, um, a winning type play by James Harden to get his hand out there and get that block, you know. Uh, so shout out to him for that. Um, this was a big... Houston had to win this game, man. Um, Houston had to win this game, yo, because... You lose to Oklahoma City whenever you trade Chris Paul over there for Russell Westbrook. Basically, mortgage the future. And then you lose to that team the year right after the trade. I mean, talk about just a, a epic collapse and just a whole change. I mean, then Tony would have got fired before he even got in the locker room. <laughs> like, you know, I don't know what would have happened with their roster, but then Tony would have been gone before he even got in the locker room, man, if that would have happened. Um, and also, man, to be honest, though, I love the effort OKC played with. I love their grit. I love their toughness. I love how they competed. I think that they're going to be, obviously, Chris Paul is an older player, though. He's played great this series, Um, had a triple-double tonight, the oldest player to have a triple-double in a game seven. Um, But, you know, their future is, is bright. But honestly, man, like, you know, it would have much. It would have been a much better series with Houston and the Lakers than OKC and the Lakers. Let's, I mean, let's just keep it one hundred. OKC and the Lakers would have been a full game sweep, but Houston, Houston could probably get one, maybe two games from them, man, if they're hitting the three ball pretty well. Um, so you know, I feel like the NBA, with the exception of Oklahoma City Thunder fans or people who just really wanted to see Houston go down, I feel like for the most part, are satisfied with the result. Um, but at the end of the day, man, like I said, um, you know, shout out to OKC, man. I didn't think they would get this far. I honestly thought, like, after the trade, they would have traded Chris Paul away. There was talks that, you know, Chris Paul would have got traded to my heat um, and just really tanked and been really bad and stack up on draft picks. But, you know, it just goes to show you the type of leader that Chris Paul is. It shows you the type of organization that they have going forward with that. You know, they're not going to lay down. They actually, I mean, they they nearly won this game, man. That's what's crazy. You know, so shout out to them going forward. Um, But for Houston, I mean, they, they did a, hey, they got it done, man. You know, we could sit there, laugh at them and pick at them, say, oh, y'all almost blew it and all oh, y'all, how y'all go to seven games with this team. But at the, end of the, at the end of the day, man, when the money on the table, they got it done. And Harden got it done with a great defensive play, probably the best defensive play of his career. You know, like, to be honest with you, yo. Um, he didn't have a good night offensively, but, you know, like stars do, man. When you can't score, you still find ways, you know, to impact the basketball game. 
Um, Westbrook was, yeah, you know, he was okay. But sh oh, shout out to Robert Covington, man. Robert Covington had a big time performance tonight too. Um, I think he had what twenty points, man. Was constantly knocking down threes, playing good defense. Eric Garden played some solid defense down the stretch on Chris Paul. Um, you know, Houston got got a team with some good players, man. Obviously, they were a the much more talented team than Oklahoma City. But for them, they got to get it together, man. Um, going up against the Los Angeles Lakers is gonna be tough for them. Um, but I do think that they will be motivated to play them. I don't think they'll win the series, you know, but I think they'll be motivated and I think they at least save the head coach's job, man. Cause that would have been real ugly to have lost this game, man. But shout out to the Houston for getting it done. Um, moving on, advancing and shout out to Oklahoma City, man, for having a season that none of us seen coming, yo. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. Gonna have Miami Heat NBA content throughout the year. Also, this coming Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Pacific. I'm gonna do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything. Tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout out on the live, yo. Y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, yo, y'all have a blessed one. Let's go Heat.